What's up, guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at style, uh, Stylescape or Stylescape. Uh, it's a stylized environment kit, and it caught my eye because of how beautiful it is. Most stylized environments are really ugly or really toned down, but this one seems to be overwhelmingly beautiful, which I really do like. And I kind of want to modify it a bit to add in some realistic clouds and effects and stuff, but not change the landscape at all because it's honestly incredibly beautiful. Now, you get with this a landscape auto material, which I'm excited about because I've not had a good stylized um, landscape auto material. Uh, you get underwater fog and distortions. You also get water, post processing, so post effects sharpening. Uh, cloud shadows, here are your meshes, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So if we jump in, and if we look around, I have the perfect character for this by the looks of it, which is nice. So let's just uh, check with the rocks, because I want to take a look at all the assets. Like, they're detailed enough that I'm satisfied, and they're also detailed enough that, like, interaction. Yeah, trees, good. And look at the texture on this tree. They did a beautiful job. You can see the seam, though, I think. And if we look at the grass, there's grass everywhere, and there's not even a slowdown. I mean, in essence, this looks absolutely amazing. It kind of has that Breath of the Wild feeling. And it's nice, but the only problem I really have is... Well, the skybox is crap. Uh, is it actually a skybox, though? Skylight, atmosphere, global. Well, I don't think there actually is a skybox, but it looks fantastic. Is there a skybox? Come on, show me. Water, environment, light source, sky atmosphere. There's a sky atmosphere. What I want to do is that. Now, I, I'm not saying that I want rain. I'm not a rain guy. I want uh, partially cloudy. And I want to see if it ruins the effect. No, actually it doesn't. It fits in perfectly because these clouds are sort of made to look good anywhere. So now that we've added partial clouds, uh, it looks even more fantastic. It's very rare that something like this, this style, catches my eye. It looks really great. Wow. I want to check out the character that comes with it, uh, just to see if it's any good. So we're going to jump into blueprints, and we're just going to force a game mode here. Um, how do I do that? Game mode not overridden. And... What 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 did they name their game mode? Let's see. So skyscape, um, foliage levels, materials, uh, miscellaneous. I don't think they really have anything in here. Level? No. Their water though. Let's go look at their water. I believe there should be some water around here. Look at that. I I want to pop right in real quick here. Watch this. We're gonna pop in. Why is there music in the water? Let's go under. Yeah, look. The water even has physics. That's pretty cool. Wow. This is actually the first pack that I can probably recommend. No way. That's so cool. Oh, what was that? What did I just delete? Oh. I'm sorry, but I don't want that in here. That ruins the atmosphere for me. Wow. Alright. Not bad at all. Um, what does the stylized environment look like in rain? Uh, I want to know. Let's see. 
So let's go with... That's really loud. That was really loud. Wow. <laughs> okay. There. The light source was... There was double light sources. That's why it wasn't working out too well. Uh, I'm actually going to... I mean... What does this light source do differently that the other one doesn't? So, atmospheric sunlight. Really? There's a lot of new stuff in this. Board scale, lux, source angle. Interesting settings. I like it. So, we're going to go and turn off the weather. And I'm actually just going to delete the weather. We'll jump back in. But what is this else is there to say about this, I guess? Uh, it looks honestly fantastic. It really does. I mean... I've not really been impressed lately with most of the things people have been making. But this one actually looks really good. Wow, light source. Turn that off. I'm going to delete this. Just, just let me... Yes. And undelete this. Yes. Look at that. That looks actually pretty good. Let's uh, reset this. We're going to go with... Yeah, volumetric clouds. Cloud cover. I'm going to turn that down. Nice. And I'm gonna hit play. The thing is with things like this, um, I'm gonna mute that for a sec here real quick. The things is when it comes to this, right? Most stylized environments have like really bright colors. And that should be easy to imitate here. Light intensity should be at least five. Hey, that should, uh, ooh, that, that, that voice crack though. Let's go to, I believe there's colors here. Aurora color, moon color, star color, skylight color. Okay. So let's go to the global post processing. Wow, that looks cool. Um, where will we find vibrancy? Vinaigrette intensity is actually on, which is interesting. Let's check out saturation. There. As I said, saturation is very, very important. Now it looks like it should. I don't know why it would reset the saturation like that, but... Yeah, this looks really good as a stylized environment. I'm very impressed. I think I would probably add some cell shading into this. Maybe to give it a, uh, an overall better look, but... I really, really do like this environment a lot. And I think I might build something into it. I don't know. I mean, it looks really good. Is there a path over here? There is too. So the trees, here's another tree. Okay, this is supposed to be a birch, I think. And it looks fantastic. They're well animated. They're well built. And I like the effect they got going on on the ground here. Like these cracks are actually here. I think it uses some sort of parallax occlusion mapping to slightly give the hint. Yes, it does. All right, that's awesome. 
Wow. I am super impressed. I'm actually kind of at awe here. Uh, the demo character probably has the ability to make footstep sounds. So I can't seem to find out where the demo character is, but this is absolutely killer. So I'm going to leave this in the link. Uh, I'm going to leave this in the description below as a link that you guys can go check out and have fun with. And I don't know. Tell me what your thoughts are about this in the comments because I, I want to know. It's very rare that I enjoy stylized environments this much, and I'm actually kind of into it. Not to mention that I kind of want to figure out how they did the grass so well because it's everywhere, like for miles, and the FPS is actually really good. So that in itself is impressive. And look at the shadows out in the distance and the trees. They did an overwhelmingly amazing job. Whoever this developer is could make a game of their own, and honestly, it would probably be more polished than most AAA games. Uh, thanks for watching, by the way. Hit that like button to show your support for my content and help me out with the algorithm because YouTube's been busted for a very long time. So if you're new here, subscribe. I do Unreal Engine 4 con like, content like this every once in a while when I actually find something interesting to do. And uh, yeah, join the community Discord. It's in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. One more pan around. One more pan around. Look at this. This is stunning. Bye, everybody.